What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Classroom of the Elite Season 2, Episode 6. Technically, Episode 5 and 6. I was just about to talk about that. I recorded Episode 5 last week but because I had a lot of birthdays, IRL events, and a fishing trip. I wasn't able to get it edited, so I'm combining it with this week's episode, as well as the other live shows, Overlord, Made in Abyss, and Don Machi, to give you guys just all, both week's episodes all combined at one time so hopefully everything goes according to schedule when uploading this so if you see a change in outfit if i don't mention certain parts or if it's like that it's because there's two separate recordings that i'm just fusing into one so i'm letting you guys know doing a little fusion dance so i appreciate your guys's patience support all that the fishing trip was very fun very exhausting ready to get back into more anime for you guys ready to find out what's going on with uh horikita kushida ryu and all that because Shit's kind of hitting the fan, I won't lie. And I like how the last episode was every failure is a step to success. And this episode is adversity is the first path to truth. We're getting deep with some of these title quotes, so I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in those comments. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for early access, full length, all that jazz. Let's hop right on into this. Class from the Elite, Season 2, Episodes 5 and 6. Let's do this. <laughs> Look at his face. I suppose not. I'd need to be as more monotone like him. Would you guys still watch my reactions if I did? Really? I had no idea. Yeah, she wanted to come. <laughs> joking, guys. Wow, we're just straight up saying it. No sugarcoating at all. One of these days, we're going to have to have her just turn off that mask just for a little bit, extended period of time. Mask off, you know? Oh, Sakaya Nagi? Yeah. She... I... I... Oh, yeah, because... Hey, we're team double day. I assume she's not participating because of her injury or her disease, whatever it may be. And this is the one, this is the guy who was helping her during the island one, like mess up Katsuragi, right? So she's looking at Yano Koji. I was just thinking about how Yano Koji is still pretty on the low in terms of the mellowness, you know, but I wonder if she knows anything that we don't. Oh, older brother. Yes, he is. Very smart and athletic. I could totally tell why you'd be in, a, in, in his shadow, you know. Koenji? Why is he going to this school? He doesn't want to do anything but be beautiful. And I can't knock that, but... Right? Right? What is this game? I've never never seen this one before. And there so our their goal is to just knock our hole down. Jesus. Ryuen. <laughs> Victorious. That's not good. Twisted ankle, broken ankle, sprained ankle. Yeah, this is not good at all. Right? Right? At least she's having some introspection. She's realizing some of her faults. Right? She's saying she, Kushida's an a-hole and a bad person. I didn't always hate her, you know. Oh, give me some backstory. Okay, we won't. Even though Horikita is a, a... She's a super hardcore tsundere. She realizes her own faults. How stubborn she is to accept them and change them is another thing, but she does realize where she has issues. So I like that. Oh, the cavalry battle. That's like my hero. I never would have thought I would have seen that outside of my hero. Is that like an actual thing? People do that? 
This is nice. Sudo's not the best at comforting people, but I think he's trying. Especially because Horikita was one of the ones who looked out for him during his rock bottom, you know? So, started out well with Sudo cooperating with A, but never anything after a but's never good. Yeah. Damn. So C and B got that, Team White. いや、やつは Huh? I'm always kerfuzzled by the things that Yano Cody says, but it always works out in the end, so. If you say so, I'll do whatever you say, good sir. I feel like I would be K in uh, Yano Cody's schemes. I'd be like, hey, why are we doing this? He'd be like, if I have to explain it to you, you're an idiot. I'd be like, fair enough. I'll go do it. Oh, Sudo is going way too far. Like, he literally just needs half a Xanax, you know? Like, just literally relax. I thought we already had our arc with him where he was going to calm down a little bit. This is the lowest our class the thing has been. There could there there was a compassionate way to say that, but he is not sugarcoating just like you. He's like, how long are you gonna be useless for? Right. Not lying. As someone, I'm talking from Yona Koji's perspective, use him as I use you. I was literally just about to say, as someone who has an arsenal of tools at his disposal, he's putting he's putting Horikita onto the game a little bit. He's like, come on, build your build your weaponry up a little bit. Shouts out this I mean, shouts out to Yona Koji. Not sugarcoating it, telling her what she needed to hear. Damn. That's one thing I love about Ihana Koji versus other main characters. He will never sugarcoat him. He will tell you straight up. Now that I firmly believe. I firmly believe Sudo and her have a special sort of relationship because of what she did for him. Like he doesn't feel that way about anyone else in the class. あなたが昨日したから話を聞いてたところさ。昨日したはお前にわざと転ばされたって言ってるさ。あは。そうですって。おいおい。これが偶然できた気づか手打ちにしてやってもいいぜ。100万ポイントだ。すずね。100万で訴えは取り下げてやる。うちへの損害賠償としちゃ。Did I I only I'm not saying don't do this because you don't want to cause trouble for your your brother. I'm saying don't do this because Rewin's never once you give him an inch, he's gonna take a mile. People like Rewin are such fucking Take me to court. I'm gonna have the most blackmail, the most evidence on this girl that I can to force her to tell them those you, you know, like this is fucking bullshit. I'm so mad right now. Right? 
この体育祭でやれることがまだ一つだけ残っている She is going through it. Don't tell me that's the end. A whole nother week? I know I say this every goddamn episode, but it feels like these episodes are five minutes long. I swear to God. I swear the opening just happened like a second ago. Is she trying to reconvince him? Yep. Yeah, you'd think so, but it's always a little more difficult than that. Let's go in depth with it. Come on, Horikita. Mm. Finally wanted some respect. A little bit of spotlight, you know? People have been throwing shade on his name too long. Have a lot to prove. Not only to the other people, but to yourself as well. And she thinks of herself when talking about that as well. There's a lot of uh, depth going on in this conversation. So Horikita confronts her. She's obviously going to deny it. But what's she going to say to a Yano Koji? I'm very curious. Okay. She has an answer for everything, huh? He absolutely is. Sure is something, to say the least. Mm-hmm. Wow. She admitted it. She will say you raped her. I still can't get over that. Like, there are certain aspects that I like of Kushida, but I will never like her because of that. Like, I, I hate that. We still have yet to learn that. I'm very curious about the source of the grudge, but is that what I guess Ryuen's going on this whole Horikita plan because of Kushida? She wants all the smoke. Kushida does not care at all. She wants all the smoke. Okay. Relate to him? How so? He's my brother. That's going to make Sudo feel... Feel a little bit of uh, sympathy, empathy for her. Whereas Sudo has spent his whole life running away from the image of his parents... Horikita spent her whole life running towards the image of her brother. So they definitely are relatable in certain ways. Same with Sudo. He wanted a little bit more of the spotlight. He wanted to be respected, you know? Mm. That's some good introspection. That's some good self-reflection from Horikita. Hell yeah, Horikita. This is the most sincere and genuine we've ever heard her been. He's flabbergasted just like I am. Alright. Facts. Horikita. Horikita looked into him and actually saw him for who he is as a good as a person who needs help, who, you know, like I respect that. Shout out both of them right there, honestly. Honestly. Got Manabu over there watching, Sudo watching, the rest of the squad. Oh, yeah, Manabu definitely is watching. We got the relay going on, Sudo with the first start. We have a little, little uh, hint of fire in there, you know? Reignited that spark. 
Mm, and that's normally Ayano Koji is saying stuff to give uh, Horikita the credit, and it's not actually her, but this one was actually her. Like, full fledged. Hypotheticals. Relax. <laughs> I could be convinced to indulge you. This is the end of the relay. Kushida's about to give it over to us. He's waiting. Yeah. <laughs> it's just them now. Oh, 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 oh. They want all the smoke. They're fucking just catching up to everyone. Look at how athletic these guys are. What is that, Captain America and Black Panther in Infinity War? I like how they're saying they're running with all their strength. Yeah, they both look just stone-faced. Happy at that, you know? He's never ran his full strength in front of the world, and now he's going to go even beyond plus ultra? He still won. Wow. Man Manabu's a... He's a guy. <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. Hell yeah, he is. You did, but you made up for it. I am a firm believer of that. Mm, learning that was last episode's title. Oh yeah. I love it. Full confidence, full faith. I know, right? <laughs> we have the confrontation. What in the world are you talking about? Ah. Here we go. Here we go. Yup. Her voice is so different. Damn, she is deranged. Oh, that switch up freaks me out. あなたの企みよね。被害妄想だな。まあ、せっかくだ。are we really getting him to forcefully admit like say everything out loud please hopefully be recording or something you know yeah okay i'm so glad i was like there's no way susan Day would just bring that up for no reason i'm like this okay i'm this is exactly what i was thinking he did say i'll indulge your little fantasy he did say that. Technically, he's off the case, you know. But she's not wrong. We can Photoshop it. And he... You dirty little bastard. Ryu and I just went out for mm, the show. Getting a call from Ayano Koji to read subject. Listen to this. What audio file could this be? Look at her fucking face. If he's making a surprise face, it has to be insane. Yano Koji was able to do something? How did he have Rewin's recording from like days ago? You've been used, Kikyo. Oh, I know Yano Koji was ahead of it. 
But was it Ibuki or who was in class? Who? The show is starting to get fucking crazy. Damn. Talk about an ending. No outro credit. Oh! Talk about another test. We have the sports festival. Um, overall, very intense, very fun at the same time. I would love to actually take place, take part in an actual sports festival like this. My school never had stuff like this back in the day with actual events, challenges, this, that, and the other, because this seems like so much fun. Minus the whole getting expelled, you need to have this set for the rest of your life kind of whole deal, you know, minus all that. But shouts out Sudo for stepping up in terms of the actual races and the, uh, the athletics, but also his whole conversation with Horikita. Like I really did feel that both of them have internal struggles with how they're perceived from other people and how that affects them internally. And so both with a little bit of conversation about it, realize that they need to work together if they're you know if they're ever going to improve this slash they need to have work on it themselves it's all like they just it's kind of like a great therapy session with horikita and um Kansudo right there you know this came to a head and they were able to talk that out and i really enjoyed that kushida actually took her mask off for once so she knew horikita in middle school and that's where the the, the root of this issue lies so i'm very curious about that Ryuen saying whoever's pulling your strings is one hell of a ball player, and that's Ayano Koji. We have a trader in class C, something. I need to know much more. I'm sure we're going to get answers. I need to know much more. Ayano Koji confronting Kushida. Now he's on her list as well. Like, I, no, I'm scared for Horikita. I'm not really scared for Ayano Koji because this dude, one, has the smarts to be able to outplay anyone in the school. Two, has just as much ruthlessness as Ryuen, except not physically, will willing to use anyone to further his goals by any means. So I am, I am very excited to say the least about what's gonna happen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below. I thoroughly enjoyed these episodes. I'm glad I'm caught up. Can't wait to watch the next in a couple of days. Um, like I said, leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.